Drawing properties. We can look at the properties of an AutoCAD drawing. We can find out things uh, in there such as its title and we can look up, for example, the author and keywords and, and statistics about how long it took to create when it, you created the file, etc. These properties about the drawing are located in the application menu. So I'm going to go up to the big red A. I'm going to click, I'm going to come down here and go into uh, Drawing Utilities. And I'm going to go in the menu and go to Drawing Properties. In the Drawing Properties dialog box, there's four different tabs. The first tab, the General tab, will tell me the name of the file, the type of file that's an AutoCAD drawing. It could be a template, it could be a, uh, a DWS, etc. So there are others. It tells me the location of the file. So it gives me the path, the drive letter in the path. And it gives me the size of the files in kilobytes. It gives me the MS-DOS name. DOS was the old Windows operating system. Before there was Windows, it was the operating system. Uh, it tells me the date the file was created on. Okay, the date it was created on, it tells me the last time it was modified or made a change to and it tells me the last time that it was accessed or opened. It'll also tell me if it's read-only or not. Uh, so these attributes are sometimes visible. Next we have a summary uh, tab. In the summary I could put title. In here I could put sectioning and wall, uh, sectioning and patterns wall section, uh, lab number 10. Uh, the subject I could put you know, lab 10, I could put sectioning and patterns. The author, I could put uh, Michael Christ. Uh, keywords, I could put AutoCAD 1 in there. I could put sectioning, I could put patterns. Uh, I could put lab, whatever I want that's a good search word. In the comments, I can just type a paragraph of what I see. So you can put anything you want in there, like a paragraph style. Next, we go up to statistics. And in the statistics, it will tell me the date it was created, and the date it was modified, who was last saved by. Now, this name is picked up by the name that you log in, your username. And then it will have a revision number, if it's revision 2, for example. And it tells me the total editing time. Now, this is where the boss looks at you and says, oh, I spent eight hours on this drawing. Well, guess what? No, you haven't. You owe me six more hours. You've been goofing off for six hours, right? We also have custom and where we can add our own particular value, such as project number. And then we have the value of the project number, like 2015-001. We could have client name, project name, stuff like that. Uh, so we can put any kind of custom uh, properties we want in there. These are used by CAD managers. They will gather that information through databases and they will track and do a lot of times billings to the clients with this information uh, and uh, have used that information in various ways. So once again, we go to the application menu, we go to drawing utilities, we go to drawing properties, and there we can find various information about our properties of this particular AutoCAD drawing.